Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello and good Friday to everyone. I would like to hit up the podcast this um, that uh, Miss Markle has. And I, people are saying she's going to use it for a political platform. So let's find out how it's going to go. Because most likely that's where she wants to head next. Even though the left has already basically shown that they're not interested, that's not going to stop her. Because we know she's tungsten. Nothing. She's just doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. She can't see past her nose. So let's find out. How is this political agenda platform? Well, that's, oh my. Well, we have here the devil in reverse. There you go. I shuffled before I turned on the camera. I did a lot of shuffling. So yeah, it's already a breakup divorce position. So it's not going to go well. Boom. She probably won't even get it launched. Then we have here the justice and reverse position. So there she's going to be in denial about the situation. Uh, there is no balance there. There is no um, cause and, positive cause and effect on her side. It'll be a negative cause and effect, which she will be in denial about. So right there, negatory. Not looking too good. Uh, I'm going to calculate these two. Uh, fun, fun. Let's see, 10, 25, 26. That comes to 26. 26 comes to seven of diamonds. Finger of God, uh, which is also in the Rider weight, is the, uh, with the seven of diamonds, is that, is the juice worth the squeeze? And she's going to come out and say, no, it's not. And people are going to wonder, is it worth it? Uh, Spotify might say, is it even worth it? And it's turning out to be, no, it's not worth it. Nope, not worth it. Uh, bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck we have here, judgment. Yep, she's going to get judged harshly. And so we got judgment and justice. So this could be a legal card right here with the justice card. This here could is a law card. Here she's going to be facing her soul, her judgment. People are judging her and she's not going to like it. She's going to feel very vulnerable, naked, and uh, people calling it out, calling her out with that trumpet horn there. Uh, and uh, probably, you know, not, it's not going to sit well with people. And then we have here the Knight of Cups in the center of the situation in reverse. They're not going to drink it up. You know, they're, they're going to go backwards. They think she's going backwards in life, that this isn't going to, this is not her quest. This is not something she should be doing. And people are not going for it. She's not the dream candidate. She's not, they don't want her going down that path. They are not interested in her. Uh, they don't want to be romanced by her. Uh, this is typically the knight in shining armor, the romance card. They don't want to be loved bombed by her. And so I say negatory, not going to go well. Mm -mm. So I'm going to calculate these two and 24. 24 comes to six of spades. They're going to see her as a parasite, incubus succubus. And then she's going to move away because she's in a rut. So no, not going to go well. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> now I'd like to ask about the York girls. Apparently they are doing royal duties. Um, I guess there's some pushback on it. I haven't checked uh, social media or anything on it. I'm just now getting wind about it. So I haven't even read anything about it, but apparently that's what's happening. So how will it go for the York girls? How will it go for the York girls doing royal tours or royal duties how will it go for the york girls how will it go with public perception and all of that dad's a problem how's it gonna go people aren't too thrilled with the yorks there we go right away we've got here page of cups in the reverse position so people aren't gonna be too thrilled and they may not be too thrilled doing it with the page of cups in reverse uh inspiration that fish jumped out of the cup that's the ins being inspired People aren't inspired by them. Uh, so lack of inspiration. Uh, also with the Page of Cups in reverse, they're going to see them as sort of dependent on the situation. Uh, they're not really super sent. They don't think it's a real sensible idea. Uh, they're not really liked by people. That's how they're going to feel. People don't really want it. Loss of inspiration. So, yep. Yeah. It's just not that page of cups upright, which is the idolistic child. It's not an idolistic situation. So, no. At the bottom of the deck, we have here king of wands in reverse. 
So it's kind of low vibe. Uh, King of Wands in reverse. The, the King of Wands is the ruler. And they just don't want them having any control uh, because it's a ruler position. Uh, it's fair-minded position, but in the upright, but this is in reverse. So they're going to think that this is sort of a, you know, weak weakness. It's, it's a kind of a weak move and they're not going to be inspired. They're not going to think they have the endur endurance to do it. So it's not positive. A lot of negativity here. And in the center of the deck, we have here back to the justice, the justice in reverse. So they're going to be judged in a negative light and not wanting it. So yeah, two negative spreads there. Mm -hmm. And it's dishonesty. So they're going to think that there's just, it's a bad idea overall. Not a good plan. Poor planning. So let's calculate this. Let's see, that's 10, 20, 3, 24, that comes to 24, comes to six of spades, back to incubus succubus, another incubus succubus, wow, both of them are parasites, <laughs> I'm not going to like them leeching off the family, they seem as leeches, so now, nobody really wants it, mm -mm. now, let's get some another one off the back of the deck, yeah, lovers in reverse, so you can see there's clouds, and uh, so people aren't loving it, they're not happy with it, it's a cloudy day, uh, having them partake and that lover card more than likely want to break them up. They just don't want it. Center of the deck. What do I have here? Let's get some more. We, they're trying to attempt to make the family stronger here, trying to be strong within. They're going to try to be strong in the situation. This other side, the center of the deck, I'm going to get that. And that is going, you know, um, going inward and lighting the path, having some um, self-reflection. Uh, trying to be strong in this negative um, viewpoint, uh, perception from the public, and uh, people not liking it. So they're going to go inward to try and be strong in the situation. Uh, so I'm going to calculate these two. So that comes to, let's see, 10, 15, 16, 18, 19. That comes to 19, comes to five of clubs, crossroads. It's going to be competition and struggles. So they're probably, the, they probably figure the girls are going to be very competitive um, probably with Kate, you know, we do know that I feel personally, I've done previous spreads, Eugenie is very envious of Kate. They have issues with Kate. So there's going to be competition and struggles probably based on that. So not loving the idea, not, not positive at all, not at all. So let's get some energy on how Harry's feeling about the backlash on his better up. How's he feeling today about it? Let's just get some energy on Harry today. Well, we've got here the Hierophant that fell into the reverse position. He doesn't like following orders. He, he's not leveling up. And that is giving the, um, basically telling, telling authority positions to take a hike. This person in this position will not follow rules and orders. So he's being petulant, I would say. Um, you know, he's going to do what he wants to do and he's not going to follow, he's not going to follow any kind of direction. So he likes to be calling the shots. He wants to call the shots onto how he feels is going to be healing. And also this is not the healing going to the light, going up to the stairs to, to being healed. Uh, they're not healing anybody, but he's not really super concerned about it, which is sad that he's turned to this kind of individual. Uh, he's in it for the money. He's not in it to truly heal people or or level them up, take them up to a higher place and raise the bar on their own mental status. He's raising the bar for himself and he really doesn't care what happens. So he's pretty low vibe, I would say. And it's not being spiritual or connected or anything. There's no duty there. He's really not even duty bound to it. And then we got judgment in reverse. So with the judgment in reverse, he's in denial. He's in denial. Another denial position. I'm going to take that. And we got the star card. He just wants the attention. Based on these here, he likes the attention. He likes to claim he's healing people because it's a star card. But we see they're not going to the light. They're not leveling up. We see they're, they're not going to get the proper uh, help they want with the judgment in reverse. And it's negative energy. Negative energy. And it's just really for his own star power and attention. And at the bottom of the deck, he wants people to like him. He wants people to, to think that he is that 
that dream lover, that dream person. Uh, I'm the dream here, helping them. He wants to be viewed in a very positive light, but we have here the Page of Wands in reverse. So with the Page of Wands in reverse, he's very bored and struggling, and he's immature, and he's not fit for it. But he still wants, he wants people, he's trying to get people to love him in the situation. And then I have this here. It is the Fool's Path. He's, he's taking a risk, and he's in it for the Ace of Pentacles. He wants to make money. It's a financial opportunity, a proposition. He's trying to make propositions in order to seed more money. It's a financial investment that's been made. He's more than likely not just a employee. He's an investor. He has got shares in it. And that's why we see this. He, it's a new path of getting shares and earning income. It's a way to fill the bank account. So the Ace of Pentacles, that's just one. So that's heart. He, it's an emotional beginning because it's about emotions. So he's trying to act like he's very emotional and loving. Uh, well, really, it's about money. It's a new path for money, financial opportunities. and But he does lack the enthusiasm because he doesn't like the business. He doesn't want to do the business. He doesn't like working, period, with this wand in reverse. Uh, he realizes it was a risk, but it was probably a negative risk. And he's really not into the business. He doesn't even like the conversations. He doesn't even want that much attention. It. He just wanted to probably just come in, be the face of it, and then step out because he's an investor. So he's really not playing a huge role. It's just his face is attached. He, they're just using him as that lovable prince image that he used to have. Uh, so that's basically what's happening here. So, and, you know, I think they didn't realize how uh, unpopular he is, but they're finding out, and that now it's even going to get worse. So let's get some energy on Better Up, Better Up, Better Up, and this controversy, how Harry's feeling about it, the controversy. How's he feeling this morning, today? How's Harry feeling about the backlash? How's Harry feeling about this negative backlash and him being a, oh, there goes my dogs. Just ignore him. That would be Penelope. Ah, we have here the... Tower. The tower is about security. So he feels that he needs he needs protection at this point in time. He's he's more focused on his his own protection. He's he's just highlighting his own protection. That clock tower is about you know isolation and protection. So he wants to stay isolated, not face it. And I need protection from the public. Let's get another one. Oh, Penelope, be quiet. She likes to ruin my videos. Here we go. She is a handful. And we have loyalty. Yep, he expects loyalty and protection. Loyalty and protection. Very self-referential. It has nothing to do with about anybody else. And I'm going to take what's on top here and unlock the situation. This is opening and closing the door. He can open and close the door at any point in time because he's he is who he is. He feels that the opportunity is there, and if he doesn't like it, he can just close the door. I can just close the door and go into hiding and uh, pretend that I'm loyal. Basically, if he closes the door, you know, he can come and go as he pleases. He, he really does not um, put anything into anything. He just signs up. There's just really no loyalty in whatever projects that he uh, goes after. So let's get some more cards. Let's get that key. Let's clarify that key. What's he going to do with opening and closing the door on, on that position? We have here two that came out. I have here the Queen of Wands upright. She wants, this is, they want to rise it up. They want, they want that rising Phoenix with it. And they want to do it here in front of the world. They want success in front of the world. So I would say he's going to keep the door open because he needs to rise it up because his face is attached to the situation. Uh, so he's going to probably stay and fight a little longer. Yes, because we have the queen, the king of pentacles here. He wants to fill his, that's the banker card. He wants to fill his bank account. And then we have here, we have the nine of cups in the uh, reverse position saying no to closing the door. So he's not going to close the door. He's got to try and put a little more effort into it. Uh, he, 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 he can't have any more failure. So I think he's going to cling on longer uh, to see what happens and try and go into correction mode because it's just really looking bad on them. It's looking bad on the whole the whole concept. Uh, and they're basically kind of scammy and people are being aware. So he's probably gonna be there to help hide, hide the uh, scam. So let's find out some more. 
Hiding the scams, hiding the scams, scammy situation, hiding the scammy situation, the fraudulent uh, activities. Here we go. Yeah, he wants unexpected income, and that's what his thoughts are about. It's all about the investment. It's not about the patients. It's not about helping people. It's all about the money, and that's what everybody's saying. It's all about the buck, completely about the buck. He doesn't really care. He's not helping anyone but himself. He's going to pretend he's loyal. But he knows he can open and close that door at any point in time and go into his little clock tower into isolation and hide out uh, and, and not face it because he can't face his failures. And uh, he could say no at any point in time if he feels that he's not getting fulfillment. Uh, he's just concerned about the money. So, yeah, it is it is what it is. And, and he seems to be operating this way. And I don't see any changes in him anytime soon. Uh, so, yeah. Uh. Okay, you guys. Have a great day. And thanks for watching. Bye, you guys.